for you and the picture me i'm a coward if you'd like to do my stunts for me too jeff i didn't know you had any i have never used a stunt man in my life and i don't intend to start now let's see when we get to it shall we look i will tell you about the time the solo lost his nerve now what one did it for him is nothing to it yes jeff you told us did i tell you what the director said i could guess oh you could well let me tell you what he said Faith, I hate to break the party up, but I must get home. Run through my lines. That shouldn't take long. He said to me that he was very appreciative of Jim. one... Jim, you're quite right. It's getting late. But... Don't think I can do it. Do you? Take a look at this. I'll show you. Jeff, please. Afraid I'll slip? Haven't slept yet. Jack? There. Oh, Jeff, come back in, please. Jeff, come back. Come back, Jeff. Look, if you want to go to bed and get some sleep, you've, you've got an early call tomorrow. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Forget tomorrow, tomorrow never comes. There is only yesterday and today. Jeff, be careful. What does it matter? You'll get your 10% no matter Jeff. what happens. Out of your mind. How about that? What did I tell you? Convinced? I always was. A stuntman does it. Oh, look, Harry. I know you're directing this masterpiece, but I do deserve some consideration. After all, I am the star. Well, you're playing the leading part. <laughs> Very subtle. You get that, the leading part, not the star, you notice. That's the way Harry Van Esty works. He hates actors. He's never happy until he's broken their hearts, destroyed their self-confidence, and made them, made them crawl. Well, that is not going to happen to me. Please, Jeff, you're behaving. As I've just been reminded, I am his agent. Try and see this from Harry's point of view. He can't risk having his star break his neck, not can he? <laughs> He'd just love it. Look, dear, nobody's going to know whether you did those stunts or not, are they? Thank you, Betty. Thank you very much. I shall know. Good night, Jeff. Faith, I've got some homework to do. Thanks for having us. Nice of you to come. Don't worry. First night nerves, that's all. Bye-bye. 
Well, what's everybody apologizing for? I hope someone enjoyed the evening. I can't say I did. What's the matter, Betty? There's still some drink left in the bottle. You don't have to go yet, do you? You're taking me home, Dad? Oh, they're right with you. Now, we know Harry's difficult, but he's uh, good. Call me tomorrow. Let me know how it's going. You call me. That's what your 10%'s for. Why'd you let him maul you? Well? Go on, sit. Enjoy yourself. Been sitting there all evening with that old morbid look. Faith, no hope, no charity. What should I do? Well, you could have said something to help. Whose side are you on? Oh, Jeff, nobody has to be on anybody's side. They're our friends. Who needs an enemy? Dirk's done a lot for you. Oh, yes, a lot. When was the last time I worked? Well, at least he's tried. There were those TV shows. Lousy panel games. It wasn't his fault you showed up drunk twice in a row. What are you trying to do to me? I'm trying to frighten you. Frighten me? Yes. Like you frightened me just now. I think I proved my point rather well. Even Harry. Especially with Harry. You didn't prove your point, you proved his. You proved a lot of other things besides. Such as? Oh, oh go on, go on. You are my wife. You have a legal right to cut me down to size. What a time to pick. Starting a new film tomorrow. Brute of the part. Back of difficult lines and this. This is what I get from you. Jeff, this is your last chance. I'll tell you something. All those lovely friends who are saying, whatever happened to Jeff Wheel? Well, they are in for a surprise. What I am saying is, I can't take much more. What? I'm saying... I'd leave you. Oh. And I love you. I love you too, but well, what's this all about? The picture's going to be just fine. I hope so. We can't afford this place. We're broke. But it's not that. It's us. What you're doing to us. Now, leave me, darling. The picture's going to be great. I don't like Carrie, but he is a good director. The part could have been written for me. Believe me. We're going to be okay. You think so? I know so. Better get some sleep. I'll just take a quick look through this book. All right. Don't be too long. Without me, thank you. All the more reason for not being late. You are right. Oh, I'll get some coffee at the studio. All right. Bye. Bye. Good luck. There you are, home from home. You think so? Well, it is the star dressing room. Oh, it's one of them. There is a larger one. What's wrong with that? Oh, uh, Miss Delmer's using that one. Oh. Well, Mr. Van Esty said you'd understand. Oh, I do, I do. May I have some coffee, please? Yes, sir. Is it all right if we bring it to you on the set? Uh, we're a bit behind and people are waiting. I'll have it here.
Okay, Lisa, Chris, let's walk through your scene again. Might as well do something while we're waiting. Very nice, Mr. Wheeler. Very. You can carry it off, sir. Oh, it'll do. Oh, will you tell them I'll be on the set in just a few minutes, please? Oh, yes, sir. What is there to guess, my darling? What do I tell him if he comes home? You tell him the truth. You're our neighbor, and I invited you over for a drink. OK, let's hold it. This is where Jeff comes in. Or would do if he was here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Annie, welcome aboard. What happened? Happened? Mm, we're an hour behind waiting for you. Oh, then I must humbly apologize. The car was a little late. The rush hour traffic didn't help. Nobody's fault. You know how it is. Mm, I know how it is. Now, remember, in this scene, you walk in, you find your wife with Chris, and you... We rehearsed it uh, yesterday, Harry, remember? Yeah, sure, I remember, but can you? <laughs> Very funny. Mm, well, let's run it. No, let's not run it, Harry. Let's make a take, since we are so far behind. Okay. All right, everyone. This is a take. Red light. Close the big door. Right, perfect. Really, please. A little more. All yours, Harry. Fine. Now, Jeff, give it a couple of beats after her line before your entrance, will you? Yes, Harry, I do remember. Roll them. Margaret. Slate one, take one. Action. Don't be nervous. I'm not going to eat you. It's not you I'm frightened of. It's him. If he catches me here much more, he's bound to guess. Guess? What is there to guess? Oh, what do I say when he comes home? Just tell him the truth. You're our neighbor, and I invited you over for... Good a... evening. Uh, someone giving a party? Cut. What's wrong? I said give it a couple of beats after her line before you come in. You didn't let her finish. It's difficult to hear in there. Oh, you want a cue line? No, I'll get it right this time. Uh, let's rehearse it, shall we? We don't need a rehearsal. You said give it a couple of beats, I'll give it a couple of beats. I would like a rehearsal. From the top, Chris, Ada. And Jeff, don't make a great thing of this. She's been seeing just a little too much of this boy lately, and you haven't made up your mind yet. I have read the script, Harry. OK. From your entrance. Action. Good evening. Someone giving a party? Darling, you're back early. Well, not too early, it seems. How are things, David? You can hear the sea from here. Did you know that, David? Very romantic. Sound of the breakers on the beach. It makes one, uh, makes one, uh, think. It uh, makes uh, one think. Think. It makes one think, uh, it makes one think. I, I, I'm sorry, I've lost it. There's no good he's stern already. You don't know it, Jeff. It's better to read it. I do know it. We don't need this. Now, let's get on with it, shall we? <coughs> It's very romantic, listening to the breakers on the beach. It makes one... It... How could I be expected to say the lines? The props don't even work. Uh, props, get Mr. Wheeler a box of matches, will you? And what is this guy doing lighting a cigarette at this time of his life, anyway? OK. Try something a little more natural, Julia. Try pouring yourself a drink. Just what is that supposed to mean? Nothing at all. Now, can we please get on? OK. Uh, uh, well, where were we? It's very romantic. Oh, thank you. It's uh, very romantic listening to the breakers on the listening to the breakers on the on the beach. It it, it makes one thank you. <laughs> That'd be great for a French farce. You putting me on? You're on already, I'd say. Listen to me, Jeff. I doubt if anything could harm your reputation at the moment. It's mine I'm worried about. Oh, you're trying it again? The old finesse the process cut them down to size. With some, I don't have to. Well. You've been hitting the bottle already, haven't you? 
Jeff, please, Jeff, you stay out of this. You've been asking for that. You've been begging for it. You set it all up. You never wanted me in this picture in the first place. You've done everything you can to get me out of the part. Well, well, I'm out. This picture was a dead duck anyway, right from the start. All right, everyone. Let's move on to the next scene. Faith? Anybody home? Finish shooting a little early. Something's happened. Now, don't worry, Jack will fix it. Oh, what's wrong? There was a bit of a brawl. I, I hit him. I, anyone would under the circumstances. I knew there was something wrong the minute I got to that studio. I could smell it. The atmosphere was like a swamp. You know, those little snide cracks of ours. He was trying to get me to walk off the picture. So you did? Not until I've wiped that smug grin off his face. You hit the director. And then you walk out. Oh, others have quit before this. Others are big enough to be asked to come back. I thought at least I could turn to my wife. Yes. I'm your wife. It's this. This you always turn to. I don't have to put up for this. Where are you going? Out. bottle with me.
back. No. I... I don't want to talk about that miserable picture. Listen. I just had an idea... that will solve all my problems. You must have been crazy. Never saner. I wouldn't go back in that picture if Harry came crawling in sackcloth and ashes. I may be a good agent, but I'm not that good. I don't know what you're going to do for money. I told you where I'm going, I won't need any. Now, that's hot air, and you know it. No, no, I really tried. When I got home and found she'd left me, I, I tried twice. Then you've made a wonderful recovery. I just couldn't do it. I, I was too much of a coward. Well, aren't we all? Those who threaten never do. But there is a way around it. How? I have a large life insurance policy. It's expiring soon. I can't afford to renew it. Then why worry? Well, that's the point. I can't leave Faith without a penny. I love her. So... I intend to die. Forget it. The insurance never pays off on suicide. This won't be suicide. What's this? It's a copy of a codicil to my will. To Dirk Brogan, I leave 10% of my life insurance in the event of my death. Well, you raked it in while I was successful. You'll get your pound of flesh when I die, but you'll have to earn it. There are conditions. Oh, there always are. The small print. Uh, if... If I try to back out on this deal, you must take no notice whatever I say. What exactly is this deal? I want to ask you one last favor. I want you to kill me. But don't tell me where or when. thought you'd left me. I've come back. I had to, after what Dirk told me. Dirk? Wasn't he supposed to? Uh, supposed to... Darling, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm glad you're back. Where's my drink? It wasn't the way I'd have chosen. Chosen the what? To get my wife to come back. Going to Dirk with a story like that. D did Dirk tell you what I asked him to do? Of course. He was meant to, wasn't he? Was meant to tell anybody, least of all you. Jeff, it's blackmail, moral blackmail. No, I meant it. I went out there and I meant to walk off the ledge. Even tried to shoot myself. Couldn't do that either. And then I remembered the life insurance doesn't pay off on suicide. And then I thought of... Faking an accident? Well, it wouldn't have been fake. Not for me. Darling. All right. I'll pour it down the drain. If you mean it, you don't have to pour it down the drain. I'll make some coffee. How long is it since you had anything to eat? I can't remember. Thank you for coming back. What did Dirk say with oh, you? Not much. He listened to that. I don't think he took me very seriously. He took you seriously enough to find me. He said what I'm saying. You need help. Professional help. <laughs> you think I'm going crazy? I think you ought to see a psychiatrist. Betty knows one of the top men. Uh, Betty words. People like Betty would need them. Jeff, you tried to commit suicide. Remember? You asked Dirk to kill you.
Darling, let me make an appointment for you tomorrow. Darling, it really isn't necessary, but if it'll make you feel any better, go right ahead. Hello, is Mr. Brogan at home? Jeff Wheeler. Uh, hello. Will you give him a message as soon as you hear from him? I gave him a letter yesterday. Yes, he'll know what letter. Tell him to send the letter back. That's right, send the letter back, take no action, do nothing about it. He'll understand. Thank you. Darling, it's time you were up. You'll be late. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, good morning. Good morning. I'm not going anywhere. Remember, I walked out of that picture yesterday. The psychiatrist. I got you an appointment for 12 o'clock. Oh. Now, Jeff, you promised. I did not promise. I said I might. Well, I can't change it now. He cancelled another appointment because you're a friend of Betty's. I am not. You are. Oh, well, it's the same thing. Please go, just for my sake. Ask me nicely. That nice enough? Too nice to be wasting time on doctors. Oh, Jeff, you've only got an hour, so hurry. you hear from him, tell him to get in touch with me at once. Meantime, he's to do nothing. Understand? Do nothing. Right. Thank you. I'll have a whiskey, please. Pouring it down the drain? I need it. Someone just tried to kill me. Oh, Jeff, you don't have to make I it. I mean it. I mean it. Someone's trying to kill you. Yes. You mean deliberately, of course. In fact, twice. Once in the street, once just now in the lift. Someone tampered with the gate. Our lift? I was stepping in, and it started up. I was half in, half out. Nearly they crushed me to death. I just came up in it. What about the car? I was on my way to the doctor, going along the street. Suddenly this car comes charging at me, I manage to throw myself clear. You're saying someone's trying to kill you? I'm saying Dirk's trying to kill me. It was his car, I swear it. Same color, same model. After he missed me in the street, he came here, did something to the lift, waited for me to come home, and nearly cut me in half. You think he's doing what you asked him to do in the letter? Yes. But he didn't take you seriously. You know that. Well, he thought it was just more of your play act. Why didn't he send the letter back? Maybe he threw it away. Why should he want to kill you? It's absurd. There's the money. And there's you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why not? It's a very old friend of yours, isn't he? He used to be my agent. More than your agent. He used to go out with him quite a bit, as I remember. And I married you, right? Maybe he's jealous. Oh, what a setup. 
bumps me off at my own request and marries my rich widow. How about that? Jeff, you're crazy. Am I? Well, I suppose I know Dirk's car when I see it. A car like Dirk's? Listen, darling, your imagination's working overtime. Dirk is not trying to kill you. Well, somebody is. Did you see the doctor? I told you I was on my way there when somebody tried to run me down. No, of course, I did not see the doctor. Well, if I fix you another appointment, will you go? If I come with you... Darling, I do not need a doctor. I, I need a bodyguard. In fact, I need to get away out of the country anywhere. We're overdrawn at the bank. What do you propose we use for money? Okay, okay, okay. What about Betty's cottage? She said we could use it any time we wanted. All right, I'll call her. Oh, no, no, wait. She's bound to tell Jack. Well, she doesn't see him from one month to the next. Anyway, I'll ask her not to say anything to anyone, especially him. All right, call her. Any place is better than here. I'll go back. Thank you, Dirk. No, nothing but bills. I expect he tore the letter up. I left two messages for him to send it back. Hello, Mr. Brogan Jeff Wheeler. Thank you. Darling, let's go. Don't like it. I'll uh, take the stairs, if you don't mind. Oh, darling. I'll drive. Darling, let me. Matty, you think I lost my nerve or something? What are you doing? Checking. inside as it is out. We're in business. Well, never knew Betty had such good taste. Why do you think she picked me for a friend? In that case, I have very good taste. Well, she's not much of a housekeeper. Looks fine to me. She said this place was stocked with food and there is nothing. Unless you want to live on peanut butter. What are you doing? Shopping list. We'll have to find the nearest store. I'll go. Oh, would you, darling? Then I can unpack and get things organized here.
Dirk's car. Same one tried to run me over before. Did you get the number? Or see the driver? Too busy jumping out of the way. What about that? He put it in the tire, so I'd have to stop. It could have been an accident. You could have picked that up while you were driving. That's what I told him to do. Make it look like an accident. Yes, he's much better. Well, I can't tell you the difference it's made being here. He's sleeping and eating marvelously. Oh, he hasn't had a drink for ages. Well, he's even playing golf again. Goes to the club every day. Again, it had to be. Betty must have told him where we are. I said she would. Oh, Jeff. I didn't know what to say to you. This place is a trap. It's too lonely here. Anything can happen. Everything's locked. I want to be sure. I come to the wrong place. You're not getting in here. What's wrong? I got your message. Didn't you get the letter? No. I told my secretary to send it back to you. What do you want? I was worried about you. I made Betty tell me where you were. Look, what on earth's got into you? You know. Oh, come off it. I told you I wouldn't buy that crazy scheme. Do you think I did? You tried. At least three times, if not more. Look, put that away, then we can talk. You're not getting in here. Then let me speak to Faith. No. Is she all right? You keep away from her. Go on. Get away from here. If I lay eyes on you again, there'll be another accident. And this time it won't be me. I'm sorry for you, Jeff. Jeff! Are you out of your mind? He came here to kill me. He's worried about you, just as I am. Said he'd sent the letter back. It didn't arrive. He probably sent it to the flat. That's where he would send it, isn't it? I... I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Well, he won't be back tonight. We'd better try and get some sleep.
about you, and I'm worried about Faith. Jay? Wasn't my fault. You came here to kill him. No, he didn't. That letter. Remember the conditions you made? Kill me. But don't tell me when or where. Or how.
at the police. Oh, please, can you come at once? There's been an accident. I don't know what happened. I was upstairs. My husband. And another man. I'm sorry. Mrs. Wheeler. The old Smith. King's child. Yes, I'm all alone. Please. Please, Harry. Exactly as we planned. 